Okay, not entirely sure where uh, I left off at. I got tied up with a couple other projects. I gotta get back on this and finish it up for the next project I'm working on. Uh, new couplers came in. Get rid of these cheap little, I don't even know what they are. <laughs> like a love joy, but not real good ones. Uh, the other thing that we're going to have to do is this is going to be notched out to clear the ball screw nut so I can get my Y axis travel out this way farther. Uh, going to have to mill this down, this pad in here, because there's not a whole lot of clearance between the saddle and the table. And that's about a good eighth inch up, so I have to cut that out. I've already roughed in the stock for the ball screw mounting block, and these go on either side of the table. Cut that out probably, but all right. I'm tired. <sighs> okay, these are going to go on either side of the table, and just going to kind of. Uh, Space out the ball screw mounts just a little bit. You know, they're end bearings. And it'll let me over travel uh, just about you know, an extra three quarters of an inch to an inch on either side. Right now, the X axis travel on this machine is 28 inches. And by doing that, it's going to help push it up to close to 30 inches. I wish I could get 36 out of it, but that's never going to happen. Yeah, but 12. 12 by 30 or even you know 14 by 30 that'll be good I'm just sitting here rambling on because I don't know what the hell I'm doing at the moment all right I'm gonna pull this off get back with you yeah I'm sure this is gonna make some viewers cringe uh. Need to remove this little section out here. I drilled two holes at the corner. Now we're just I get her done. Otherwise, we had to take them, take the whole bed up, sit that up on the mill, and mill it out. That's too much like work. It's not a critical area, so what the hell, you know? Okay, what's well, next? Okay, so I got the front of the table or the uh, base all notched out. This is its fullest extent on the Y axis going this way. You can see this is our spindle center line here, so we're good three, four inches back behind the table. Huh. What's the odds of finding a tape measure? Slim to home. say that much. Okay, we're an inch and a half behind the table. Uh, 
Yeah, watch this ball screw is actually too short. Yeah, put the longer one, longer one in it. I want to make sure this is all sorted out before I do. Other thing, these two screws that hold the uh, the X axis ball screw mount is directly over top of this ball screw. So that could really be a pain in the ass. It's going to have to be that way though, I think. Because there's two bosses on the bottom of this that give the casting a little extra thickness where you're bolting it up to, and I think I'd rather stay there. So I'll actually have to assemble the X axis, move the table over so I can get this bolt back in it for the Y axis. Man, that's not fun. Okay, so we were... That's about as far as that's gonna go that way. And leave it there. And we got... About... Inch and three quarter. Nine and a half plus inch and a half. Gonna make 11. That's gonna be 12 and 3 quarter inches. I could actually get a little more out of it than that. Ooh. Okay, so good. 14 inches on the Y, no trouble. That's a hell of a size part to throw on something like this. I think I like that. Alright. Take it back apart again, I'm going to go ahead and mill this down flush. Seriously, dogs. Where's a pretty Phoebe? Uh, uh. Phoebe. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Uh, uh. Yeah, that's the barkers. Okay. Oh, 